Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? How did you feel when we visited the cave? Astonishment, I think. I felt as if I had reached my goal. As if I was finding a long-lost treasure. It was strangely moving, I think. What about you? It was a moving moment indeed. And I was happy to be able to share it with you. I am also happy I have found someone to share these discoveries with. When I'm with you, I feel as if I'm learning differently. Feeling new things. And I'm very grateful to you for that. Anything else? What do you think of the love that unites those young people? It really seems as if they share something special. It's true. I don't think I've ever stumbled upon two people that were so close to one another. On the continent, where everything is political, it only happens in fairy tales. But here... Do you ever think that you could become that close to someone? To be honest, no. Not before I saw this young couple. What about now? I do not like to lose myself in vain reveries. But for some time now, I've begun to think that such sharing of ideas and feelings is in fact possible. Anything else? Do you think that attending this ceremony has changed your world vision? Yes, obviously. Before it, I was so focused on my own knowledge. This ritual made me understand the power of sharing, of emotions and of the bonds between people. This new vision gives me new perspectives. A whole new life is ahead of me. I hope I'll be lucky enough to be by your side. We share amazing memories now. A bond has been created between us, too. And I can't imagine this new life without you by my side. Anything else? Where do you come from, Afra? From Alima, near Al Saad. It is but a small town, but there is a particularly renowned observatory there. My parents wanted me to become an astronomer, but I chose the Earth over the sky. I was always more intrigued by life rather than distant stars. Plants and animals fascinated me as a child. For this reason, I left Alima quite early to study in the capital, and I seldom returned. When did you arrive on the island? A little more than two years ago. My master, Dr. Rassili, suggested that I should follow him to Tirfredi. He needed help cataloging all the unknown plants and animals. How could I decline such an offer? There's so much to discover here. Do you miss the continent, your city, your family, perhaps? No. When I arrived on this island, I immediately knew that it was where I was supposed to be. Tell me about your studies with Dr. Asili. He was not always mad, you know. He was a renowned doctor back in Al Saad. His unusual methods saved many lives, and I was very proud to be amongst his students. He taught me a lot. He was a great teacher. He was strict and severe, but he always pushed us to do our best. It's only when I joined him on the island that I understood that there was something wrong. He seemed changed and completely obsessed with the Malakor. You know it killed his wife and two children. He was so shaken by that, he no longer showed any restraint in his research. Such a waste for the natives he massacred as well as for science. I'm under the impression that you've not learned as many things as you wanted by observing Dunkus's clan. That's true. I hope to discover the physical or alchemical mechanism behind their metamorphosis. But instead, I don't know. I think I now understand the bond that unites their people to this land. 
the links that connect them and the power of their culture. It's unexpected. I wonder if this couldn't become another subject for study. The study of people, their customs and beliefs. If I said that in al Saad, people would think I've gone mad, but here, everything is possible, right? Learning about the natives would allow us to stop being afraid of them, and to see them like fellow humans at last. I must leave you. Hello, Glenda. Yurt Tirto Madon Olmenawi. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. 
I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Mil Frichtemen that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendan. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. Karantz, could you help me once more? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral, and I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Of course. I'd be happy to be by your side. Let's go. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Could you tell me about Siora? You are right there, and you let him talk about you like this? Asir? That's a strange friend you have there. Perhaps I wanted to hear how you'd reply. Perhaps, but I don't like this. Did you want anything else? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the Earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly.
We are approaching Das Vegan. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we start the ritual. Something's wrong. Normally, you would hear the birds singing in this place. What do you mean? You think intruders would risk coming here? There. Tenlands. This is not their natural habitat at all. We cannot leave them here. So close to the barrier mound. <laughs> any around here they must have nested in the shadow of the burial mound in that case we have no choice but to destroy their nests otherwise they'll just keep coming back <laughs> will no longer trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of the ceremony. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. 
It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora. Bird tear to mud. You are Siora's friend. Look, I have beautiful things to exchange. We have all that we need. Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. If you want... Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be. And another near her feet. And then, you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in this ceremony. 
This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? There. Everything is in place. Thanks again, Honor Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh, these rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Karantz. Do you need something? What do you intend to do now? Will you become the Dunegad of your clan again? I will most likely do it, but not now. I still have a lot to discover by your side. I'm very glad to be able to enjoy your presence a while longer. Thank you for your kindness, Son Almanawi. I am also happy to be with you, too. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Dasade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. <laughs> 